How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video guide. Today we got another beginner's guide on covering caps. There are a variety of different ways to get caps, but I'm going to show you guys two different ways to get them. Now there is a portion in this video that talks about buying plans with caps. It's just for returning players or if you are seeing this already and you do have the caps to get these, then by all means you can do it. But I will leave timestamps below. So to start things off, we have player camps. Now if you've uh, watched some of my other videos, I've talked about player camps for very different reasons. And for this reason, it, we're going to be talking about purified water. Purified water is probably one of the best ways to turn in your daily caps to the NPC vendors, which is 1400 caps a day. Purified water sells for roughly around four caps each. And if you go to a player vendor or a player's camp, you can have a chance of finding either their water purifier, purifiers or, as you saw, their vintage water purifiers or coolers um, that are open for you to take. And once you do, you can stock them up or go directly to an NPC vendor to sell them. Now, the question raises, how do I get these water uh, purifiers of my own. Well, it's very simple. There are three spots you can go to to get them for free. Here at Tyler County Fairgrounds, located a little bit northwest of Vault 76 at the Ferris Wheel, if you haven't discovered it yet, you want to head on over there. But we're not going to go to that location specifically. We're going to be going to the location right across the street, which is the Tyler County Dirt Track. The Dirt Track is a workshop. Workshops are great for resources and a variety of different things as well as some plans but it's one of the early level workshops that you can go to and to for the small water purifier or purifier plan all you have to do is just capture it and you'll simply get it now if that doesn't work usually it does there's going to be an event for you to defend the workshop from enemies and it's just going to be a few waves of a random enemy type just do that and you should be able to get it now to capture a workshop all you have to do is just clear out the targets in the area and then go to the workbench looking machine interact with it you will have to pay a little bit of caps wait for the uh, workshop to be claimed and you'll be good to go now be careful with workshops any workshop that you start claiming or you enter whether it's yours or not will enable uh, pvp the only time it won't be is if the workshop is not claimed at all. So keep that in mind when you are taking care of workshops. Now for the medium water purifier plan, you want to head on over to Charleston Capitol Building. It is located just between the forest and ash, uh, ash heap and directly south of Vault 76. Now the medium water purifier plan is in one of the most loved locations anywhere in the world. This place holds dear to everyone's heart and we always love coming to this uh, type of place in real life. And yes, you guessed it, the DMV. Oh yeah. Anyways, head on inside to the DMV and as soon as you enter, on the left hand side you'll find an overseer's cache. Inside that cache, you will find the water purifier plan. In other words, the medium. Now for the large water purifier plan, or the industrial, the biggest water purifier that you can get, is located here at Camp McClintock. It is this a great place to go to early on because you're going to be coming back here for multiple quest lines. We're not going to spoil anything, but... Inside, once you uh, head up into the building, on the left-hand side again, you're going to find another Overseer's Cache, and with it, the large water purifier. Now that you have all of the water purifiers, or the ones that you want, you want to head on over to Morgantown Airport. In one of the hangars, you'll find a terminal in the back that will grant you the large generator, and... I unfortunately already have it. I believe I bought it. So it's not going to show up here, but 
there is a option on the terminal that you can select which is for schematics and it should learn or you should be able to learn it that way now generators can also be obtained by doing the power up event at the the nuclear power plants located throughout the map or you can get the super reactor which can be obtained through daily ops as well as part of minerva's rotating inventory which comes around every monday to wednesday now let's say you don't want to go and grab these from the locations or anything like that but you do have caps to spend and you kind of just want to get right into it all you have to do is come on over to um, white springs resort and head on inside so the medium um, medium water purifier will be available at level 20 the industrial will be available at level 30 and the small i believe will always be available for purchase now the large generator is also really nice but if you are level 30 and you do have the caps for it you can come to white springs as well to also pick up the fusion generator which gives out a hundred energy it's really nice and it's definitely worth the caps now since we're we are here at white springs station another reason why to come here is for the handmade plan and the m79 grenade launcher plan as well these plans will be available to you at level 15. they are kind of pricey but you can lower that price if you do use hard bargain which reduces the sale price increases your sell price um, but if you do have a lot of caps and you're willing to uh, spend it you can get the auto grenade launcher as well but the m79 and the auto grenade launcher will be available at the black powder shop um, but also keep in mind that white springs is great for a lot of different camp items weapon mods weapons outfits and a variety of different things so it's always worth coming down here to uh, take a look and see what they have now for the handmade plan as well as another fusion generator just in case the first vendor doesn't have it you can come on down to the spa and interact with the free states vendor this will have the handmade and if you're lucky or unlucky it will have the fusion generator as well again some great weapons camp items and so much more now that you have everything you need keep in mind that the large and medium or the industrial and water purifier can only be placed in bodies of water so make sure that your camp is, pl is placed near a body of water for the small and vintage water cooler plan which can only be obtained through the holiday scorched those two are available to be placed on the ground or inside your camp if you wish now like any and all water purifiers you do have to wait a period of time for you to collect so this is the time to go ahead and do another source of farming for the other method of selling to vendors to get your caps is by cooking meat when you're doing this method make sure that you have butcher's bounty which is in, uh, located under perception as well as super duper so you can double the amount or have a chance to double the amount of food that you cook so the duper is also great for other reasons but simply go around tag enemies if you are doing it at an event moonshine jamboree is a great event to do it at grab your meat head to a cooking station cook it down and then head on over to a vendor to sell it now a quick thing about vendors is that you want to make sure that you have hard bargain it does reduce the price of the vendor as well as increase your sell price charisma also does have a um, influence in terms of your pricing so for this we are we do have level two but i will be upgrading it to level three so we can increase it a little bit more but i do believe there is a cap for the amount of caps that you can sell things to the vendor as well as a cap to how low you can lower the prices from a vendor as well but from simply just cooking some meat from that one event with just 50 and no super duper because i forgot to grab it uh, we made 300 caps just like that i also had a few other things to sell so i decided might as well some extra caps as well now once you finish doing your events your farming or whatever come on back to your camp and your water fire your water purifiers will be full now keep in mind that you do have to pick these up for them to continue to produce they will not produce an infinite amount there is a cap to each one so whenever you see three four or five pick them up 
and let them recharge. Now I know there are other methods of going about farming caps. Some of these other methods can be doing events. Always do events when they come up if you can because they are a great sor source of experience as well. Some events to keep an eye out for is Tester Metal, great for caps, as well as Colossal Problem and Scorched Earth. Those two are bosses, so they might be a little bit difficult. But that about covers it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment to let me know what you guys think, if you have any questions as well. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, happy hunting, good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.